Senator. Uh, Senator, thank you for the question. I think uh, the Marine Corps always looks at these problems through the same lens, lethality and survivability. And based on the, uh, already the testimony that's preceded me with the Commandant of the Marine Corps through this committee and others, uh, you know that we're, we're repositioning ourselves to be located inside the weapons engagement zones of our adversaries in order to enable the joint and combined force. Well, what does that mean to the reserves? That means that we have to maintain a pacing partner that, that makes sure that our reserve formations and individual Marines are armed and equipped so that they are just as lethal as, our, as the rest of the force. So in this past year, the reserve component has been married up with the second Marine Expeditionary Force and given the specific role of global contingency response. We have an active working MEF that we're partnered with as we design the future force. The second thing I would draw your attention to is, in my opening comment, maneuverability. If you're inside the weapons basket of our adversaries, you have to be able to maneuver. Maneuver to get off our own shots, maneuver to survive, maneuver to sustain, maneuver to Kazavak, Medivac. And I believe that in the future, the reserve component of the Marine Corps could take a lead in converting structure to near coastal, coastal, and riverine maneuverability for strike, survival, and sustainment. 